Hey everyone and welcome to another edition of Burton Borders and I'll be doing a player watch but not from a Chelsea player, a player that Chelsea were heavily linked with in the summer. So welcome to my player watch on Ashram Akimi. So guys, most of my player watches are going to be focusing on Chelsea players, but I may from time to time do like a player watch on maybe a Chelsea player has gone away, um, like for instance a Conor Gallagher or Livermento maybe, just to see how they're faring at their new clubs, or a player that Chelsea were heavily linked with. And uh, Afra Makimi was somebody who was the focus of a lot of our summer, where it was a tug of war between us and PSG who will get this particular player. So I was watching this um, PSG versus Bruges, Club Bruges game with interest and I was keeping a keen eye on Afram Akini just to see how well he fared. And for me, he didn't play well at all. I can't say we dodged the, dodged the bullet because I'm not one of these um, supporters who are you know, reactionary and judge somebody on one game. I'll need to see him over a certain amount of games just to see whether um, it would have been a good buy for Chelsea or not. But on today's showing, not good, not good. Um, he was decent going forward in the first half, not so much in the second half, but... What stood out for me is was his defensive frailties. I'm not sure whether it was a setup, what Pochettino, Pochettino employed, or just that he doesn't like to defend. You know, he's you know, a lot of us wanted him because we knew how good he was going forward. He's like a more of a winger, I'll say, or wing back than a playing in a back four. So that's where he may have done better at Chelsea had he played in a wing back role because we've got the protection of the back three if he's caught at field. But the way that um, PSG play with a four three three system, then um, it just leaves him very exposed. He likes to hug the touchline and he he's, he was, especially when PSG were in possession, which was most of the time, as you'd imagine, as they were playing like Club Bruges or a club they should really be beating, then he would take up an advanced position right on the, the touchline. But um, Club Bruges, to their credit today, played superbly. They were closing down uh, PSG and once they got the ball, they were attacking quickly. And especially in the first half, all their attacks came from the left side. And it was just that ball, they were playing the ball quickly down there. And because Akimi was so far outfield, they were getting so much joy down that left-hand side. That's where the goal came from. And on another day, they could have got another two or three from that position. Um, but even when he did come back, um, his tackling was a bit weak and he got beaten so easily time and time again by the um, Club Bruges or wingers. So in the second half, his game improved um, a little bit, but he wasn't great, but he wasn't ex exposed because this was down to Pochettino making um, a change as well. He brought on Pereira to give um, PSG extra defensive solidity and um, Herrera sort of moved over towards his side to, to cover. And that, that gave him a little bit more protection because um, Neymar wasn't really coming back. That's, that's another thing I didn't add, I don't think. Um, the, the, the front three for, for you know, the magical front three of Neymar, um, Messi and, and uh, Mbappe, who went off injured, they weren't really um, tracking back when they lost possession. So that kind of left, um, Akimi exposed a bit, so he was mainly one on one. So they, they people weren't, he wasn't getting, they weren't, they weren't doubling up on the winger. So, and that's a, as I said, that's another factor for him not performing to to his highest level. Yeah, I like the look of Nuno Mendes actually on the other side, left side. He came on as a substitute, but he 
he shows some blistering pace um, and he got in some decent crosses as well. So he's one to look out for, um, young Portuguese uh, left back. Um, so although he was on for less than Akimi, he caught my eye more than Akimi did. But as I said at the start of this video, um, I'm not going to get too reactionary. This is just one performance. I'll judge him over the course of the season. But um, if you watch the match, I'm not sure whether you're watching that one or whether you're watching the Manchester City game or the Liverpool game. If you watch this game, just let me know what your thoughts were on, on Akimi. Um, it's going to be a big test for him in the, in the next uh, match day two, because um, in two weeks' time, on two. Tuesday 28th I believe because that's when they um, they play they host Manchester City so it'll be interesting to see how he fears against Manchester City because um, if he gives the likes of who's on that side Grealish yeah Grealish comes off the, the left doesn't he if, if he gives Grealish that much space then, then he's going to get destroyed so it will, I'd like to see how they set up whether they're going to give him more protection down that side so if you didn't watch the game have a look at the game against Manchester City. Keep an eye on him, and yeah, let me give you, stick your comments in in the comment section below on how you think he fared. So that's my player watch video over. I'll see you when I make my next one. I don't know when yet. So look out for my next video. Take care, guys. Bye bye.